My name is Cole. I'm from California and I'm a sports chiropractor. I took the program for a few reasons. One, I wanted to you know, listen to the podcast. I really enjoy it then and I wanted to get out of my out of my comfort zone and I knew going to the AOC and going through uh, the, the program and and talking to you know girls at bars and all that was going to help get me out of my comfort zone and I wanted to turn that around and use it for my business because I figured if I could meet beautiful people in LA everything else would be a lot easier. <laughs> uh, I, well I listened to, I, I chose The Art of Charm because it was a total immersion and it was going to be a week of you know, they, they talked about in the, in, the, in the podcast, you know, being learning to be, you know, comfortable, being learning to be comfortable when you're uncomfortable. And I just felt like I needed that. I needed the action and actually commit because, you know, you can listen to podcasts and you can read, but I needed, I needed some structure and, you know, maybe like a more of accountability and with other people to kind of, to, to get things and to get, to get things rolling. You know, I, I was a little bit, um, even even when I got there on Sunday night, you know, you just you meet all these random, you meet these strangers, you don't know them, so you're already <laughs> uncomfortable. And but after a while, you start, you know, you go out, you meet people, and then the coaches come in, and you don't really you don't really want to end. It's actually it was a really great time being there, and mainly because of the information and then the, the relationships you form from it as well. My favorite part of the week. And I didn't think it was a, I didn't think it was going to be that big a deal, but the body language and the eye contact and what I actually look like, because when you're when you're filmed and you watch yourself on video, it's a game changer. Because I was like, oh my gosh, I'm you know I'm squared up with this person, I'm staring at them, and I'm not relaxed at all. And after a few repetitions, you start to make changes, and it, it totally makes things different. And I use it every day, talking to people at work or at gyms or at marketing events. Yeah, my, my favorite my favorite moment of the program was one night we were all out in a group and there were these there were these two girls that looked pretty intimidating because they're about six foot one and very very gorgeous and I walked up to one of the coaches and I was like it, you know they they do not want to talk to me there's no way and he's like dude that's such a distortion just go up and be, just go up and talk to them it's, there's nothing wrong with talking to to strangers so I just kind of walked up and I actually I think I even used that like hey. You know, it's not weird talking to strangers or anything. They kind of laughed and gave them a high five. And next thing you know, you had a great conversation. So it totally, it kind of removed that fear from me. And uh, that was that was a pretty cool moment. When I got the boot camp that I couldn't get on my couldn't get on my own was the the, the action steps and the accountability because you can read something and you can listen to a podcast and it's great and makes sense. But then putting it in action and removing the fear, that's, that's what the group helped me out with the most. So they kind of just take, the, uh, they take the, the cognitive distortions that you might have and you put it in action and then at the end of the day, at the end of the night, you realize it wasn't that big a deal and it actually was kind of easy being social. I use, I use the information every day, but more for marketing and meeting people. I'm not out picking girls up every day. I actually have a six-year-old daughter so I, I use it more for just building my network, making contacts, and, and, and meeting people for, for work. And I use it every day, and it's helped me out tremendously. Since I, since I returned, I've recommended the podcast to my friends just to kind of open their eyes up to what the Art of Charm is all about. And I definitely would recommend it to people who might be shy, who feel a little bit nervous talking to to uh, to girls or just meet, meeting new people in general because once you go through the week at the Art of Charm and you come back you feel just very comfortable talking and being social with uh, with with strangers and even and even your own and even your own friends it things just get a lot easier more you're more relaxed or I think people the people that benefit from the program the most are those who want to expand their network make new contacts, make new friends, meet, meet girls, and they, they just might feel stuck because of that fear inside of them of rejection or you know they, they catastrophize everything. So I think people who just want to build and expand and meet new people uh, would benefit the most from the Art of Charm. One thing about the Art of Charm, when you first hear about it and you, if you listen to some of the first podcasts, it's, it's about meeting girls and approaching girls, but for me, 
business-wise, it's helped me out tremendously because since I've got back, I'm actually already working on my own podcast, my own webinars and show and talking about exercises and videos to help get patients out of pain. And it was was through the Art of Charm, the week of the Art of Charm that's helped me get to the point where I am now and and I'm just going to keep on building and rolling and, uh, and taking the right steps.